Hey guys, welcome to week here at the Nogi course. And today we're gonna to start looking at the tornado guard. And specifically today, we're gonna to start with the tornado suite. I'm gonna be straight honest with you guys. If I was meeting uh, Christian and sparring or competition, I wouldn't try the tornado sweep as my first thing. If it were the same size, it would be better, but because it's bigger than me, it's not the best tool to use against. Just so you guys know. But you do, however, have some other attacks from this position uh, once you go um, inverted, right? So, nice thing here, we're usually working with the knee shield sort of scenario here. Uh, you could be working like uh, more deep in the half guard. Now, in this sense, I'm trying to be shallow uh, with my knee at least out from between his knees, okay? Because it allows me more movement and it's easier for me to go uh, inverting, right? Now, in here, I'm gonna start looking to bring this right arm in front of his thigh. And I might not get a grip around his thigh here yet, but if I could just use the back of my hand here to help me turn, then this is gonna be a very nice, uh, useful tool here, okay? At the same time, I'm gonna start looking for at least some grip with my left arm, either here or under his armpit here with my left arm, okay? So you're gonna see, this being the position that we're gonna look for, okay? So you might wanna get used to working here, now getting this hand under, looking for this. Sometimes they will even like look for this cross face and that sort of plays into it, right? Or if you can get your hand on the inside, I feel like that is a way better uh, variation as well, okay? Now, once we're here, you'll see I have one leg underneath him in between his legs, right? And I have one leg that's free that can create the momentum uh, to start sweeping him, right? I want to keep his weight on top of me. The more he goes back, the harder it's gonna be for me to sweep him. It's gonna be heavier. He's further down uh, by leg, basically. The more he comes up, the more of his weight I have on top of me, which allows me now to start lifting him off the floor, okay? Now, be warm, like, like warm up well before you do this if you're gonna do it to a heavy guy, because you might actually feel a muscle pull if you're kicking here and you're doing some explosive stuff. So make sure you're warm as well, right? Now I'm gonna kick with my left leg. I'm gonna bring him over me with my right, okay? So I'm using my whole body here to help him come on top of me here. And we end up on the other side. Now, mainly if he's here and he has my leg trapped, just close it, there you go. The main idea here is just to go for like a cross face with this hand, okay? Now, even if it comes up towards me, I can still work other things and get into better positions as well. So I like to look for the cross face in those kind of scenarios. Let's go there. Time. Wow. So here, I'm gonna go for an underhook or uh, go for over the arm and bring my head under. So I'm really like kicking out with my left leg, getting in here, okay? Now, sweeping him, making sure I use my leg as a pendulum and I get him over here, right? His head is on my right side. So now I'm gonna go with my arm and cross face. And even if he comes up, which is usually what they do, then I can step over or start working to bring my leg out and then maybe start passing here as well. So, let's do it a bit back. Let's do one more time. Do we have enough space? Go back. One more time. Here, hand under. And there we go. Thank you guys for watching. As always, please like, subscribe. See you guys next time.